All right, so right now I'm cutting up some treats. We've got um, uh, Cody, who just arrived earlier today, and he is not the friendliest. Um, so he is being quiet in his crate right now because he's covered up, he can't see anything, and uh, nothing's going on. But as soon as I cover him up, he's going to be barking at me pretty hardcore um, as if he wants to eat my face off. So uh, I'm getting some food right now because I'm going to be doing a, a training method to try and change his perception of being um, approached by me. Uh, and he didn't have any interest in his food. So normally I like to start off by uh, trying to do something like this with um, his regular food so that I'm not, you know, adding unnecessary calories into his diet. But he had no interest in his food, um, you know, pretty stressed just at the idea of me. Um, so we're going to try with some higher value treats to see if we can uh, work on his mindset with me approaching him. So what I'm gonna do is get some of these treats in my pouch and then I'm going to um, approach him and I'm essentially just gonna be throwing food at him in the beginning uh, to see if I can get um, a different response to me. Uh, because I want to start to essentially uh, change his behavior to a more positive one. And I'm going to do that by marking and rewarding when he does what I want him to do, which is just not act like he wants to attack me, essentially is what I'm looking for in the beginning. That's, that's my only expectation. But to get that response, I'm going to need to do something different myself to facilitate the difference in response and then I'll start marking and rewarding the behavior I want. Oop, I think I just dropped the treat in there. Yep. So uh, what I do in the beginning to do that is almost going to seem silly, like uh, what I'm doing isn't going to make any sense because I'm essentially going to be marking and rewarding the um, exact opposite behavior that I want. I'm going to set this up so we can see him. Um, but I'm hoping that we can see in just a, a couple minutes, hopefully, um, a change in his behavior just by doing this. So this is, um, again, this is something that I like to start doing with a dog like this uh, because it's, very, it's not very invasive. It's the least stressful um, way that I can go about doing this. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can change his response here, but I wanted to start by changing his emotional experience with me approaching the crate. So let's see how this goes. So much better response already. Um, and all I did earlier, all I did earlier when um, I tried to get him out was when he started barking and reacting to me, uh, being next to his crate and, and uncovering his crate, I just didn't move. And I don't mean I froze up like a statue. I mean, I didn't back away. And that was the response that he was expecting. And that was the response that he's probably always gotten when he's acted like that is the person or the stressor goes away when he barks and acts aggressively or reactively. Uh, so that didn't happen last time. I just stood there and waited until he stopped and then I left. Um, so I'm going to approach him again and see if we get any kind of response. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So higher value food. He took that this time. I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see me also. Do, 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 do. So uh, with his regular food, he did not take it. This is a higher value food, so he did take it. Yes. There he's just doing a low rumble. I'm going to give him some food there. So right now, it looks like I'm marking and rewarding a very negative behavior, but I'm really just trying to communicate to him that I have food that he can get from me and I want to create a different behavior in him that I can start to mark and, and reinforce. Yes.
So I'm going to walk away and then approach him again. That seems to be the thing triggering his his behavior. Is me walking, getting close. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I almost put my hand uh, in the crate there. Um, so I'm going to keep my hand a little bit further away. Haha. <laughs> Very good. We're going to do that again. Yes. Yes. And I'm not looking at him. I'm not making eye contact. I'm not even looking in his general direction. I'm uh, obviously I've got him in my peripheral vision, but um, I'm not making eye contact. I'm just kind of like looking off toward him but not at him and that's for for a specific reason i don't want to i don't want to necessarily just come up and challenge him i'm just come coming up and getting inside of his bubble but in a uh not a super challenging way that's not the idea of this yes i notice um he's already he's stopping as soon as i say yes so he's anticipating Food is going to come when I say yes. Uh, and initially, um, I'm going to move this again a little bit. Uh, initially, earlier today, when, when I went to get him out, uh, I want to make sure you can see him better. Uh, when I went to get him out, um, he just barked and barked and barked and barked, no matter what I did or said. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I might actually, I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer so you can see more of, more of what he's doing. Maybe you pick up on some body language before he does it. So I'm going to lower you. So now notice he's laying down. Let's see if he jumps up or if he stays down when I approach. Yes. So these are pretty big chunks. I'm starting off with some pretty big chunks uh, of, of these treats now. I'm using the Happy Howies. Um, I cut these up. Uh, I'm going to gradually go to smaller pieces, but I want to make sure he sees them, he smells them, and he's going to go for them every time I throw them in there. Um, so kind of pretty big rewards right now. Yes. can't find it. LOL. That's why I use the big ones. You'll find it. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yes. 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 There you go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So again, I'm essentially just doing things right now to <laughs> essentially trigger his negative behavior so that I can keep giving him a different response than he's probably used to or he's expecting to change his anticipation and of what's going to happen when I approach and his emotional response to me approaching. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to walk away and walk back again. I might bark when I walk away. We'll see. Yes. I'll do that a couple more times. Yes.
Yes. Yes. So he laid down there. That was a lot more relaxed. Yes. That was a lot more relaxed than he had been with me being this close to him. So I marked and rewarded the fact that he was more chill. Yes. When I said yes, he started sniffing immediately. Let's see if I can move you closer again. Sorry, I keep changing my frame here. I wanna, I wanna be close enough that you can kind of see what he's doing, um, but also kind of see what I'm doing too. So let's move you a little bit closer again. All right. Yes. Oh. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yes. So I moved there and he stayed relaxed. That's good. I'm going to scoot again. Yes. So I'm doing things that um, might actually trigger his, his response. Just me scooting a little bit and getting closer. Yes. Not looking at him specifically. Yes. 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 So his anticipation of when I go like this has changed from something negative, something uh, potentially harmful is going to happen when he does this, to, well, oh, maybe food's going to come. Yes. I'm going to be moving my hands to different areas and delivering the food in different areas. Um, yes. <laughs> Yes. So I got a different response when I put my hand on the other side of the crate. That's why we do that. Yes. 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 Oh, so he didn't get that one. Um, so I scooted his crate train a little bit because it's kind of sliding out. His little catch thing there was is not in place. Yes. He's got two pieces in there. He'll get those. Yes. He looked at that and then he didn't get it. I'm going to give him a second. I want him to eat that, ideally. Nope. Just relaxed. So I'm not looking at his face, but I'm turned. My face is turned toward him. Again, that's a little bit more confrontational, yes, than me just sitting facing away from him. I'm going to leave those there. Uh, so I'm going to get up, walk away, and then walk back. Yes. 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 So and the reason I've, I've got this a little bit closer, so hopefully you can see his body language change. There, um, when I said yes, his posture softened. 
So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm, I'm walking away now. I'm going to walk toward him. He's going to explode and I'm going to wait until he stops reacting. And then I'm going to mark that moment of silence and reward that. So we'll see, we'll see if he's ready for that transition yet. So I'd like to, at this point, transition away from marking and rewarding the negative behavior to marking and rewarding the positive behavior, even if I'm only getting that for a second. Yes. So he gave that to me. That was, that was great. So he, he stayed in a laying position, did not react as I walked up. So I'm marking and rewarding that. Yes. Great. Do that again. Yes. So his emotional experience when I walk up to his crate now is very different than it was five minutes, well, maybe 10 minutes ago now. Yes. However long this, we've been doing this video. So I'm going to see if he'll eat that and then I'm going to go sit down next to him again. We'll see if he'll remain in a laying position. Let's see how this, how this plays out. Yes. So I'm going to, just to kind of see where he's at, test the limits. Um, I'm not going to go sticking my finger in there and poking him yet, but I'm going to deliver the food a little bit differently to see how his response is. Yes. So there I kind of put my hand right up against the crate and held it there for a second. No response. That's good. Yes. Good. Yes. So now I'm going to actually make eye contact with him. And when I make eye contact, as soon as we have eye contact, I'm going to mark and reward that. Yes. So when he's not looking at me, I'm going to look at him. And then when he turns to me, him actually locking eyes is going to be yes, food. So I'm going to, yes. So here I'm just kind of making little sounds to get him interested and to turn. So I'm kind of helping him to facilitate the eye contact. Oh, I think my mic, I hope my mic didn't go out. It's doing something funny. Yes. So I'm going to turn more toward him again, a little bit more potentially confrontational, intimidating. So I'm going to do that and see if we can maintain this sort of response, this relaxed, just laying here. Yes. Again, I marked on that eye contact. He's kind of just staring at me like he uh, might want to react. Yes. And all throughout this process, I, I'm trying to be as non-responsive and non-emotional to his reactions as possible. Uh, because, as I'm sure you've heard people say, dogs, dogs are a good sense of character. Dogs can feel your emotions, all these sorts of things. And that's extremely true. So I don't want to communicate to him that I'm fearful or angry or anxious or anything like that, if I'm generally just relaxed and I don't care what he's doing, then he's going to be less responsive to, to me. Yes. I'm less threatening. 
I'm uh, more predictable. If, 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 if I'm unpredictable, then that's threatening potentially or perceived as threatening. So when he knows to, that he can expect that I'm just going to be generally chill, yes, then he's going to be less threatened by me. Oops. Yes. So this is much more intimidating to him than <laughs> a lot of stuff that I've done up to this point. Um, yes. Yes. So, hey, that's enough. So I'm going to start to, to do some things now that are going to kind of stretch this a little bit further um, and do some things that might trigger a response so that I can continue to do the this same, this same exercise um, and get closer to the idea of being able to get him out of his crate without having a response. So I could get him out of his crate while he's acting like this right now. Um, I could very carefully grab this leash or hey that's enough uh, grab this leash uh, whether I needed to have a protective glove or use the device to get the end of the leash and then just keep him at a distance you know I could kind of walk him outside like this um, but if I can avoid that that would be cool yes if I can just calmly get him out of his crate and not have him trying to lunge or bite at me um, that would be even even super yes yes so there I kind of moved the crate just a little bit I kind of pulled on it a little bit hey that's enough good We've got somebody licking licking over there it's dropping crazy yes <laughs> So I tapped on the crate there. He didn't like that. Sorry, my lighting keeps changing on you. Yes. Eye contact. Let's see if we, he'll lay back down. Yes. That's a little bit probably closer than he is comfortable with. wait until he eats that before I do something else that might trigger a response. I'm going to move away a little bit. food so I'm just gonna approach again yes so he did a little bit of a low rumble there there we go good so he's laying down so I'm gonna pull the cover back just a little bit more see he probably won't like that yes eye contact that's good that's good he stayed in the laying position
Yes. So he's kind of lost interest in the food at this point. So. Uh, this is this is probably uh, further than I would normally uh, push this, uh, but wanted to kind of give a you know do a video to kind of show what can be done with this. Um, so here I would I would probably just give him a break. He's done taking food, and yes, so he's kind of done taking the food, and. Um, so I, I'm unable to really reward to reward from here uh, with the food <clears throat> since it's kind of lost its value temporarily. So um, I'll probably take a little break, uh, even if it's just 10 minutes, and then I'll I'll do this again and see what kind of different response I have. Hopefully, uh, if I cover him back up, he'll eat this. And then my hope is that uh, my expectation is that next time we do this he'll probably have a similar response when I initially approach, but I hope that just after a couple reps, we can get back to where we are right now and then continue to progress each time we do this. So this is Cody, day one, and keep checking in on his progress, and he's going to be a fun one to watch. So thanks for checking this video out, and I'll check you guys later.